Have you installed your Facebook Pixel? Or is this the first time that you're hearing about a Facebook Pixel? Well, not to worry. In this video, I'll share what the Facebook Pixel even is, the importance of it, and most importantly, how to install your Facebook Pixel in short, easy to understand steps. Let's begin. Hey, it's Jaime. If we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. So what is the Facebook Pixel? Well, it's an analytics tool that measures the effectiveness of your ads by tracking people's actions on your website. It is a tool that Facebook has made available to you as advertisers so you can measure what is working and what is not. So in other words, it's a piece of code that you embed on your website or websites so you can measure which ads are actually driving leads or which ads are actually driving sales. That way, you're able to make decisions on which ads to turn on and which ads to turn off. So that's the tracking part, and it's super cool, but as you continue driving more leads and more sales through your Facebook pixel, Facebook will start picking up on that data, and they're gonna be making assumptions down the road on which users on their platform are likely to become leads for you and sells for you so it can start optimizing your ads. So in other words, it's gonna drive more leads and more sales to you. So that's the predictive side of the Pixel, which is amazing, but another amazing aspect to the Pixel is you get to retain your audience a lot longer. Because as people engage with your business and engage with your website, they are now being tracked and you're able to retarget your efforts to that particular audience. So you don't have to start with the cold audience every single time you're setting up an ad, which is super cool. Well, now that we have a deeper understanding of the Facebook pixel, let's dig in and actually put it to work. All right, so let's get our Facebook pixel on. First, we're gonna need to create it and then we're gonna go install it in several websites. For this example, we're gonna use ClickFunnels and then we're also gonna be using a Squarespace website. If you have a WordPress website, a lead pages, uh, website generator or landing page generator, it'll all work pretty much the same. However, for our purposes, we're gonna use Squarespace and ClickFunnels because those are the accounts that I have. All right, let's go to the toolbar go to pixels and for our purposes yours is going to say right here create a pixel and it's going to look brand new if you haven't actually created one but for me i have several so i'm going to go to add new data source then i'm going to go to the facebook pixel and i'm going to name it let's say test pixel you don't have to do your website you're just going to continue all right, and this is where the magic happens. If you have an account that integrates directly with Facebook, you can select it straight from here. So if you have a WordPress website, Wix, um, Eventbrite, Joomla, HubSpot, whatever, you can select it. However, we're not gonna go down that route. We are gonna go and create a, we're gonna go back to setup, we're gonna go to install pixel, same screen that we were just in, I just clicked here and then I decided not to go there. So I'm gonna go back. We're gonna actually manually add the pixel code ourselves. This way, you know how to do it. Now, if you have an IT person, if you have a developer, if you have a website, or somebody that handles your website, then you can email them directly from here and you're off and running. That is one way of doing it. But again, we're gonna show the manual way to add your pixel to your website. We're gonna go to pixel. And really, all of this is important, but this is the most important part. Important part. Install the base code on your website. So copy and paste this pixel code onto the bottom of the header section of your site, blah, blah, blah. So you copy that. As soon as you left click it, it's going to copy. And then read through here, turn on automatic advanced matching. 
use information that your customers have already provided to your business, such as blah, blah, blah. I suggest that you leave it as is, which is on, and then test the base code. Make sure your pixel base code has added correctly by sending test traffic to your site. If the status is shown uh, as active, your code has been I'm sorry, you, your code has been installed correctly. This process may take several minutes. I don't go down this, I don't go down this path because there's a Google extension called Facebook Pixel Helper, which you see, well, you probably can't see it right here. Let me scroll this down right here. The Facebook Pixel Helper will do the testing that they are talking about. For our purposes, we just needed that code. Now we're gonna go over to the Squarespace website. Again, you may have other types of websites where you may have a WordPress website or whatever. You're, it's gonna look a little bit different, but the mechanics are basically the same. For Squarespace, we're gonna go to settings. We're gonna go to advanced. We're gonna go to code injection. And as you can see here, I already have a Facebook pixel. This is right here among some other code installed. This is where you would paste that. So if I was doing it, I would do control V, which is copy paste. I'm sorry, this is the paste, not the copy. It would just be the paste. And that's all there is to it. So that's where you would do that from a Squarespace website. Now, if you have a, a ClickFunnels account, you are most likely familiar with the setup but this is whenever you click on one of your funnels this is where you would land you would go to your settings you would go to your head tracking code you would control v v which is pasting it right there and then you would save it right here and you have set up your facebook pixel it is that simple now we're going to come back here and we're going to continue the events is for another day, but that is basically all you need to do to set up your Facebook pixel. It don't make it any more daunting than it has to be. You get all the benefits that I mentioned at the beginning of the video by having your Facebook pixel. So take advantage of it. There are so many options, so many things that open up for you so you can grow your business exponentially. Outside of that, if you found value in today's video, please be sure to hit the subscribe button so we can talk again soon.